In this video, we'll be learning how to find gradients of curves at any values of x. Now, to begin with, let's just, let's just go through a bit of background knowledge. When we're given a function, f of x, for which we find the derivative function, f dash of x, it's important to realize what we're actually doing here. The derivative function, f dash of x, can often be thought of as the gradient function. And in fact, in my classes, I often define it this way. f dash of x is the gradient function of the curve y is equal to f of x. Now, what I mean by this is if we want the gradient of the curve y is equal to f of x at any specific value of x, then we have to turn to the gradient function, f dash of x, and calculate its value at that value of x. Now, I'll make myself a little clearer here. Let's say we want the gradient of the curve y is equal to f of x at some value of x, say at x equals to a. Then the way we would do this is by looking into the derivative function f dash of x and calculating that derivative at x equals to a and that will be equal to the gradient of the slope. In other words, the gradient of y is equal to f of x at x equals, equals to a is f dash of a. Now you'll definitely want to make a note of that because this is a very, very common exam question. We'll often be asked to find the gradient of a curve at some value of x. And this is how we would do it. Now, let's see how this works with a couple. Let's say, for example, one, we're given the curve y is equal to x squared minus one. And we're asked for the gradient when x equals to 1. Now the way we're going to do this is we'll use the method we just saw and the first thing we'll do is we're going to define this curve's function. This curve's function is x squared minus 1. So we'll start by writing f of x equals to x squared minus 1. And since we're looking for its gradient at x equals to 1, the first thing we have to do is find its gradient function, which is known as the derivative. In other words, we're looking for the function which, for which we feed it in any value of x, and it gives us back the value of the gradient of the curve. So let's go ahead and differentiate this. We have f of x equals to x squared minus 1, so by now we already know how to differentiate this and say that f dash of x is equal to 2x. So that's our first step done, really. Now to find the gradient when x equals to 1, when x equals to 1, remember that was given to us in the question, when x equals to 1, the gradient of the curve will be f dash of 1. And since f dash of x is equal to 2x, f dash of 1 will be equal to 2 times 1, which of course is equal to 2. And there we have it. We now know that the gradient of the curve y is equal to x squared minus 1 at x equals to 1 is 2. And that's how we find the gradient of a curve using differentiation. Now, just to sort of illustrate this example, uh, let's draw this function's curve, y is equal to x squared minus 1, and let's draw the tangent to the curve at x equals to 1. If we do that, it should look something a little, a little bit like this. We can see here that at the point x equals to 1, at x, sorry, when x equals to 1, the y-coordinate of the curve is 0, which is why we can see that 
this curve is passing through the point one zero. And at the same point, we've drawn this tangent here, which we can see the blue line, which has the same gradient as the curve at that point. And we can definitely see, if we look at this tangent, and if we consider this point and this point, that the slope, or gradient, is 2. And we can see this because as we move away from the line 1 unit, to meet the line again, we have to move up 2 units. So the gradient is definitely 2. And remember, this tangent here is touching this curve at this point. Therefore, this tangent and the curve have the same gradient at that point. In other words, this is telling us that the gradient of the curve at the point 1, 0, where x equals to 1, is definitely 2. So remember from, the, from this example that we started with the curve y is equal to x squared minus 1, which is what we see in pink here, just above. And the way we found its gradient when x equals to 1 was to look at the function f of x equals to x squared minus 1. We then found its gradient function, which is nothing more than the derivative function, which is f dash of x. And we saw that that's equal to 2x. And since we were looking for the gradient of the curve when x equals to 1, we evaluate this derivative at x equals to 1. And so we calculate for x equals to 1, f dash of 1 is equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And that leads us to the answer we're looking for. The gradient of y is equal to x squared minus 1 at x equals to 1 is 2. And there we have it. That's the method. Now let's look at another example. We'll go in a little less detail here. We'll just go straight to the point. Let's consider in this second example the function or the curve y is equal to ln of x minus 2. And we're asked to find the gradient. Let's say find gradient at the point e negative 1. Okay, so let's get started. Let's follow the same method as the one we just used for the first example. The first thing we do is we define this curve's function. And that, in this case, would be f of x is equal to ln of x minus 2. We're looking for the gradient of this curve, so in order to do that, we look for the gradient function, which, remember, is the derivative function. So that's f dash of x, and in which case, since we know that the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, this leads us to f dash of x equals to 1 over x. And of course, when we differentiate the 2, that leads us to 0. So the derivative function is simply 1 over x. Now, in the question, we were told that we're interested in the gradient at the point e, negative 1. And so the x value here is e. So we're looking for the gradient at x equals to e. Or I could say when x equals to e. And so the gradient will be equal to f dash of e. Remember, since we're looking for the gradient of the curve when x equals to e, the way we find that is by calculating the curves or the curves functions derivative at x equals to e. So replacing x in our expression 1 over x by e, this leads us to f dash of e is equal to 1 over e. And that's it. We now have the gradient of the curve. And we can state our final answer. The gradient of the curve y is equal to ln of x minus 2 at the point, or at e negative 1, is 1 over e. And we're done. That's how we find the gradient of a curve using differentiation.